Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84 and I'm just uh, doing some maintenance in the garden and I noticed uh, we had some strong winds yesterday and I've lost another one of my pawpaw fruits. Um, now whether or not this one has dropped because it's about ripe or whether or not it's been blowing off like the other one was because the wind remains to be seen but I'm going to get in there in a minute and pull it out and see uh, and we'll have a look at it and see if it's ripe or just been blown off by the storms because I wouldn't expect these to ripen until October here but we'll um, I'll pause the video and we'll try and retrieve the fruit and have a look and see what condition it's in okay so we've pulled it out of the organza bag and bought it off the uh, tree now and I won't don't for one minute think that it's ripe but it is a bit of more of what I call a traditional pawpaw shape. Um, let me just smell it. Mm, it does have a sort of a pineapple-y smell to it. This is Prima, so I'm going to cut it open and have a look because I can't see any point leaving it around for days on end to turn bad inside. Now the weight, out of interest, 80 grams which is obviously much smaller than you know I've seen them on various uh, various American videos weighing three or four hundred grams so this is only a quarter of the size and weight that potentially they could make but bearing in mind it's uh, the first ones that I've grown here in the UK where our, car, our summer is much cooler than where they're used to and it's only a young plant in a container I'm quite pleased to have got to this sort of weight so I'm going to pause the video and uh, pop it on the tripod and we'll just cut this open and have a look and see what it, how many seeds it's got in it so here we are, I've turned to flip the camera around um, as I said it's got a bit of a pineapple smell to it and there's a little bit of yellow yellowing colour here so it's probably just started to ripen but I think unfortunately the storms have blown it off about two weeks too early but rather than leaving it to ripen amongst the fruit I thought we'd cut it open and have a look straight away and see what it looked like because there's a small bruise here from where it fell off so we'll just have a uh... oh, okay this is quite soft this is quite soft this could be edible you know oh this actually looks quite promising mm. now it smells this is a prima it smells like a mango now I've I've been very sort of dismissive of what people have said about poor poor flavors and smells because obviously I've never ever had the opportunity to smell or taste one so uh, really and truthfully it's quite uh, quite exciting I'm just going to pause the video a second so that I can get a or stop the video so I can get a picture of this and I'm going to get a spoon and actually taste this and see what it tastes like so uh, I'll be back to you with a spoon in a minute now as you can see this little fruit looks like it let's see how many seeds it's got on it as far as I can make out there's certainly one there I think it's only got one. Oh, only got two seeds in it. Now let's see what this is like. Mmm. Well, how exciting. My first edible pawpaw. It's not super sweet I suspect that it's um, I think it came off before it reached optimum ripeness but it's quite quite a nice soft texture not astringent at all look at that wow my first edible pawpaw here in the UK. What excitement. I wasn't expecting to be making that video today at all. Mm. Um, I can't say that I'm, I'm not one of these people who's good at describing flavour. So I'm not going to tell you that it's uh, 
that it's like a mango with a hint of pineapple and a aftertaste of banana. It isn't. But it is reminiscent of a mango. A slightly underripe mango, I would say. And it smells a little bit of pineapple, but I wouldn't say that it's got pineapple in it. But nevertheless, it's small fruit, but crucially, the first pawpaw I've ever tasted in my life. And the first one, obviously, that I've actually managed to grow to an edible level in the UK. So very, very exciting. Um, and I much appreciate anybody who's uh, stopped to look at the video. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. Please do give me a thumbs up. Um, share it with anyone you think might be interested who's also trying to grow these in the UK and may well have succeeded already um, please do subscribe to my channel and of course uh, if you hit the bell you'll be notified of new videos as they come out which will include updates on my pawpaw plants have a wonderful rest of the Sunday everybody and I'll catch up with you all in the next video Brett out for now